I welcome us uh, to Easy English class. Uh, please, I really want to ask you these questions. Do you want to improve your English proficiency? Do you want to be able to, uh, to speak wherever you find yourself to express your thoughts? If your answers are yes, so I strongly believe that this uh, video and others that I've shot okay, um, designed for somebody like you. I'm not an English language speaker, but today I published six books. My books are sold in the different countries. And this is one of my, my books that was published in the United States. Okay, I write blog, blog articles and I, I contribute essays uh, to world leading and newspaper organizations. So I have no doubt that if I can do it, then my viewers should be able to do better. But one of the secrets okay, to mastering or to, beco to becoming a modest speaker of English language is for you to have access to different types of English textbooks, diverse textbooks, okay, from different authors. But I want you to actually focus on uh, books written by English, okay, the native English speakers. Okay, with that, uh, your, your proficiency and your mastery is going to be faster. If you dedicate yourself to reading a book, maybe written by English men and women. So today's topic is simply a basic English grammar. Okay, use of some and any. You could use the, the appropriate use of some and um, any. Okay, based on maybe physical interactions with people, I discovered that there's a problem. People find it very difficult to use or some and any correctly. And whenever I'm also reading, Maybe on the internet, maybe reading on Facebook, I realized that okay, this mistake okay, is so rampant. So I've decided to handle, okay, to resolve this problem for my uh, viewers so that they too will not repeat the same mistakes. So please come along with me while I take you to the whiteboard for very simple explanations of the correct usage or usages of uh, this word, maybe properties of English language. So, uh, a song, a song is, 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 is used with plural subjects and it, it, it is at times used when the identity okay, of the subject or of the noun is not known. So, for example, I have some time before the meeting. Okay, a time is, is an example of an uncountable noun. So, I have some time before the meeting is the correct way of using time. Okay, in this sentence. Then the second one is, she has, okay, she has some apples in her fridge. Okay, apples, this is a plural, okay, nouns. Okay, she has some apples in her fridge. She has, okay, some biscuits in her pocket. Then the third one is, they have some milk left at home. Okay, they have some milk. My parents still have Look, some make a left with them. Then the fourth one is I think the flowers need some water. Okay, looking at the flowers, I realize that the gardener has not maybe watered them. So I strongly believe that the flowers, okay, they need some water. So let's continue, please. Then uh, can I give you some advice? Okay, can I give you some advice? I realize that you're new in the office. Can I give you some pieces of advice? Can I give you some advice? Then the sixth one is, he poured some coffee into my cup. Okay, he poured some coffee into my cup. I drank, okay, I drank some drink. This is it. Okay, I drank some tea, I drank some water, I drank some soft drink. And then uh, some lady called the office when you were not around. Look at this, some lady. In this sentence, the sentence is actually referring to just one woman. But the identity, the name of the woman is not known. So you, you could also say that some individuals, okay, visit me yesterday. Okay, some uh, students, okay, visit, visit me uh, three days ago. Okay, because I cannot remember the, the students or the ladies or the individuals' names. So some can also be used. That's by the fact that some is, goes with what? A plural. But in this case, because of the identity of the lady is not known, you can say, okay, some individuals 
some individual who um, who promised okay, uh, to give us maybe 10 million naira has has decided to do what to to um, uh, to uh, really meet up with the, uh, the uh, maybe the, maybe the person actually promised some amount of money so we can say okay some individual who actually promised to give us five million has finally redeemed their pledge that is the word has finally redeemed their pledge so now let's continue let us look at any the next one is this let's let's look at any okay any is also used for uncountable nouns and countable nouns in a sentence now let's look at this first example we don't okay we don't have any time so this is we don't have okay, we don't have any time left please please the time is against us we don't have any time left let us do what hasten up then that's why do you have any time for chit chat okay chit chat is just like a kind of like a, this office gossip okay talk on issues that are not that serious so do you have any time for chit chat so this any time for chit chat okay please okay do you have any time okay presently because i have something serious to really discuss with you do you have any time for me then the third one is we don't see any monk okay okay we didn't see any monkey on the tree the people have been saying that there are monkeys okay on that tree so but we went there and we just, we could not see any monkey on the tree then the next one is she didn't give me any money yesterday when i was going to, to, to school my mother didn't give me any money yesterday okay any money and finally he delivered the speech without any notes that the president of the united states of america delivered his keynote speech without any notes so these are simple sentences okay identifying or indicating the correct usages of what of some and any so thank you so much for your time uh, please do not forget to subscribe uh, to my channel and if you have any questions drop them i am ready okay to really respond to your questions and help you out the purpose of this video and others is just to make english language very easy for people especially the non-speakers uh, thank you so very much one more time i shall see you in the next video uh, thank you